All right, so today, guys, I'm going to be showing you the best 10 class setups here in Black Ops Cold War. So real quick, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Now, real quick, guys, if you could go into the description and go follow me on Twitch, it's going to be here in the pinned comments and the description. I live stream every single day for a couple hours a day. I show you the best class setups, tips and tricks, and just a lot of secret stuff about the game that you probably don't know about. And I like to just have a great time over there with you guys. So if you guys could, make sure to go help me get there because I'm getting close to hitting partnership and as well 20,000 followers but anyways guys let's go ahead and get into the best 10 class setups all right so we're here with my first class setup and it's gonna be the ak 7 for you this is my favorite weapon in the game i have the most kills with it i've got my best gameplays with it and as well i've gotten the most nukes in one game with this i've almost gotten a hexa nuke which was six nukes in a game using this class setup sadly only got three of them but it, it still happened this class setup is just beyond crazy but anyways guys what you're going to throw on is the perk greed this is a really good perk greed class and if you want to know the perks first we had flak jacket tack mask scavenger assassin spycraft and gunko then for the class setup here the first attachment is the gru suppressor this is going to give us seven percent more vertical recoil control and as well it's going to keep us off the mini map so we're going to stay stealthy and we're just going to just have good control of our weapon because of the 7% we have here, which is very nice. You just want that control of your weapon because if you don't have that control, you're not going to be able to aim and you're not going to hit your shots and get kills and it won't be fun to play the game. So this is a very good attachment for number one. Now, attachment number two is the Task Force Barrel here. We got 8% more damage, 50% more effective damage at range, and 75% more bullet velocity. This is very nice. So one, we have more damage. Our bullets are going to be stronger at a longer distance. And as well, our bullets will be traveling faster in air. So this is a very nice setup. I really highly recommend you using this barrel. You can go between the Task Force Barrel and the Liberator Barrel. This helps with bullet velocity and stuff. But we're going to be using this because this gives us extra damage, which kills helps us kill faster, which is really good. Now, as as you guys know you do lose 20 percent more vertical recoil control which is definitely okay it's going to help us with using the gru suppressor and stuff but this next attachment here we're going to be using the bruiser grip now one of my homies a j god he actually said that the bruiser grip does help you with uh, vertical recoil control and it helps with you know just control your weapon more which is very cool and i like using this because this helps with movement speed Sprinting move speed, shooting move speed, and aim walking movement speed, which is very nice. It's going to help you get more kills. This attachment is very important because it's going to help you get more kills. It's going to help you get around the map faster, get in the middle of the map faster. Just have more control of the map better, and overall just get more kills because you're flanking behind people quicker, getting more kills quicker, so and so forth, which is a very good thing. Now, the next attachment here is the 50 round fast mag. This is going to help with just having more ammo in the magazine, reload quicker, starting out with more ammo, and as well having more like ammo in the reserve. So you don't really have to worry about, oh my God, am I going to run out of ammo? Am I going to use my secondary or pick up another primary weapon off the ground? You don't really have to worry about that. So, this is a very good attachment as well to run. And then finally here we have the Gru Elastic Wrap. This is going to help with 30% more aim down sight speed, 90% more flinch resistance, so basically having uh, toughness from BO2, so four perks in a way. And then you're going to be able to drop shot while aiming down sight, which is very, very helpful. So this is why I'm running this. And if you want to know the secondary, which is on all my classes you'll be seeing today, we have the Dual Dematis with Sound Suppressor, the Task Force Barrel, the 5MW Laser, 30 round fast mag and of course the dual wheels with stem shot c4 and a trophy system so that is it for the first class setup now it's time to get into the second all right going into our second class setup here is going to be the xm4 now the xm4 is the first assault rifle that you can unlock in this game and personally i still love this weapon but it's not one of my highest tier weapons and by the way my class setups are not like in order from like you know first is the best tenth is the worst class um so i don't you know have really they're just they're just randomly ordered so it doesn't really matter but anyways guys we have the xm4 here this is a gunfighter class setup here this i just feel like the xm4 needs a lot of attachments to kind of make it better you know it's good with some attachments but having it maxed out with eight attachments is a lot better than it would be with five so you're going to throw on the gunfighter wild card here so going into our class setup we have the xm4 and we have the microflex led for attachment number one now honestly i think this is the best choice to use i know yesterday i was using the mill stop but um you know i feel like well first of all i was using it for the variant and then it just you know you, you just 
you know, you can play around with these, uh, you know, optics here. But by far, the Microflex LED is the number one red dot sight for me. It's because of the thin frame it has. And honestly, it just it's easier to help me snap onto different targets when aiming down sights. So this is very helpful. So this is why I'm running it for the XM4. The second attachment here is the SOCOM Eliminator Muzzle. This is going to help with 17% more vertical recoil control. Now, again, going back from the ak 74 u the more vertical recoil you have, the better way you're going to be able to control your weapon. The more control you have on your weapon, you're going to get more kills, and you're just going to keep playing the game because you're having fun. So this is why I'm running the SOCOM Eliminator for extra control for my weapon here. Now, the next attachment here is the extended barrel that's going to help with 100% more bullet velocity. Now, if we look at the detail sheet, our bullet velocity is going to go up from originally 550 meters per second, which is okay. It's still good, but we're going to jump it up to 1,100 meters per second, which is crazy good. So, this is very helpful. It's just going to help the bullets hit the targets faster. And in a way, it's going to feel like you're killing faster, but in reality, your bullets are just traveling faster to hit its target quicker. So, that's why it feels like that. Now, the next attachment, you already know what it's going to be, the Steady Aim Laser. I use this just for hip fire accuracy. I don't use the flashlight. If someone in the, in the comment section can let me know a really good reason besides looking through smokes, looking through trees or bushes like that to find enemies, tell me another reason why a flashlight or like the other red dot sights or not red dot sights, the lasers are good. I think just the Steady Aim Laser is the best thing to run in the game for like the body wise. So if anybody can tell me why the flashlight's better than a Steady Aim Laser, let me know in the comments section. But anyways, guys, the next attachment here is the Bruiser Grip. Now, we're going back to the ak 74 u again here. We're talking about the Bruiser Grip. Again, it has that secret vertical recoil control um, stat sheet that we didn't know about. And J-Guy proved it has something hidden about it, which is very nice. But we're using this just for movement speed, shooting move speed, sprinting move speed, and aim walking movement speed. Just to get around the map faster, it's definitely going to help you get more kills and just hold the middle of the map more because you're having the control of the whole game because you're running quicker, flanking behind people quicker, and so on and so forth, which is very good. Now, the next attachment here is the 50 round fast mag. This is going to help you reload quicker, start out with more ammo, just have more bullets in the magazine and whatnot. It's just going to be very, very helpful just to get more aggressive and get more kills so you don't have to reload all the time after getting so amount of you know, amount of kills, you have to reload, so you can constantly just get kills here. The next attachment here is the Airborne Elastic Wrap. Again, we're going to have 30% more aim down sight speed, 90% more flinch resistance, and as well, you're going to be able to drop shot while aiming down sight, which is very nice. This is very helpful just to, you know, juke out your opponents out sometimes, which is very indeed helpful. And then finally here, we have the Raider Pad, which is very good. I like to run it because of the 30% sprint out speed. And then we have aim walking movement speeds up 40%, so you're going to be able to move faster while aiming down sights. And as well, you're going to be able to shoot faster off a sprint will make you way way more aggressive to get more kills and whatnot and then same for the you know we have this pistol but we have stem shot c4 trophy system with flak jacket scavenger and spy craft now it's time to go into our third class it up all right going into our third class it up here which is going to be the ak-47 which is my baby i love using this gun so much it's one of my favorite weapons as well this i'd say it goes ak 74 u ak-47 now so uh overall this just this class it up just a monster it's really good you guys are definitely gonna love using it this is the mastercraft variant if you guys did not know because i know people are gonna be in the comments saying hey what's that ak-47 variant this is the mastercraft you can buy in the store so go buy that immediately because it's super cool but anyways guys we are running the perk greed class here same perk as the ak 74 u we have flak jacket tack mask scavenger assassin spycraft gunko and so for the ak-47 what we got going on with it is the kgb eliminator muzzle that's going to help with 17 percent more vertical recoil control now again this is going to help with just having more control of our weapon getting more kills and just you know having more fun because you're able to control your weapon not miss shots or anything like that so this is a very good attachment for number one now, attachment number two, uh, the barrels, uh, it's kind of a little tricky here. Uh, there's a lot of things. we You see people use the RPK barrel. You see people use the takedown barrel. And you as well, you see people use the liberator barrel. There's so many things here that you can use. And honestly, I think the number one, for my opinion, this is my opinion here, I think the number one barrel for this weapon is going to be the liberator barrel. And this is very nice. It's very helpful just because of the bullet velocity. Now, as you see here, the bullet velocity goes from 490 meters per second, which is not bad. You know, about 500 meters per second is not bad. You know, there's some SMGs that do that and stuff like that. It's not bad at all. But we're going to bump it up to about 980 meters per second. Basically, we'll say 1,000, which is very nice just because you guys know that the AK-47 has that really nice firepower. And so if we can have a strong weapon 
that kills fast regardless where it is and we have bullets travel faster in air that's a very good combo right here this is very nice this is gonna make the weapon more deadly so it's very nice so we're gonna throw this on the next attachment here is the bruiser grip if you guys have not realized already the bruiser grip is on all my weapons here this is very important to run just because of how good this weapon is or how good the attachment is is very helpful it's going to help us with movement speed just getting around the map faster getting more kills because we're getting around the map faster flanking behind people faster so and so forth this is a very good attachment to run now the next attachment here is the 50 round fast mag that's going to help with magazine capacity just having more ammo reload quicker starting out with more ammo about the game it's just a very nice attachment to use to get more kills because you're not having you you can only use your gun because i know people you know when you use your own gun you get more kills and happen to pick up multiple weapons and stuff like that kind of going guerrilla warfare if you know the challenge back from bo1 so this is a very good thing to run and then finally we have the Gru elastic wrap that's going to help with 30 percent more aim down sight speed 90 percent more flinch resistance and as well aim down while going prone so you're gonna be able to juke opponents out and kind of hit them with the you know the you know break their ankles and stuff like that which is very nice so same for everything we have the uh dual pistols with stem shot c4 and trophy system now it's time to get into our fourth class of now we're going for the mp5 now which is a really good gun to use and a lot of people actually ask for this class setup i would say in between uh in my streams here i would say the mp5 and the ak 74 u are my most two asked like class setups or weapons that they're like hey p you know what's a good class setup for this weapon what's a good class setup for that weapon so and so forth so right here we have the mp5 and we're running the gunfighter on this one we're going to bury some attachments on this weapon so what you're going to want to throw on here first is going to be the agency suppressor this is going to help with seven percent more vertical recoil control now as you see here on the graph at the bottom the accuracy is very good so you're going to want to throw this on it just helps have more control of your aim i know you know people are going to say like why you're not running the socom eliminator the thing is with the agency suppressor you're going to one stay off the mini map so you can just be stealthy and aggressive as much as you want and as well it does help with vertical recoil control even though it's seven percent it's still good so this is a very good attachment now attachment number two is going to be the ranger barrel that's going to help with 100 percent more bullet velocity now as you see here the previous is 250 meters per second which is uh pretty bad so we're going to bump it up to the ranger barrel which is going to be 500 meters per second which is going to make it okay to use now i really wish there was something better off to use but uh honestly the weapon up close is just lethal you know up to like I would say 10 meters up close or anything like that this weapon is a melt machine it does take a little bit longer bullets or time to kill at a longer distance but it's still good up close like on nuketown or raid if you're just doing the run and gun gun uh you know the play style you're gonna be really unstoppable using this class setup so throw on the ranger barrel to help you know just get those bullets get across the map faster the next attachment, you already know what's going to be the steady aim laser. This is going to help with hip fire accuracy. Again, if someone can tell me about the flashlights in the comment section, I'll start using flashlights. But regardless, steady aim laser is going to stay on there. But you already know the next attachment here, we have the bruiser grip. That's going to help with movement speed, just getting around the map faster. And, you know, just holding the map more and just getting around people faster and so on and so forth. And plus it has a secret, um, you know, vertical recoil control uh perk on there did not know about that but you know jay god came in clutch about that but the next attachment here is the 40 round fast mag this is going to have more ammo in the magazine you know reload faster having more ammo in the magazine you know in the game and as well holding more ammo in the reserves which is very nice so you want to throw that on and then we have the airborne elastic wrap again we're going to have 30 percent more aim down sight speed which is very nice nine percent more flinch resistance and as well aim down sight while going prone you know especially for this weapon you know you can juke out people and everything like that so this weapon up close is super nasty and if you can you know juke people out you know drop shot jump shot slide shot just whatever it may be you know you're gonna be very unstoppable and stuff like that because how fast this weapon kills up close and then finally here we have the no stock which is going to help with 30 percent more sprint to fire speed which is very nice because between the raider stock and the no stock you do get 10 percent more um, aim walking movement speed but you lose 30% more hip fire accuracy, which is not the best. So we're going to throw this on for it. Just, you know, we're going to get a little bit of hip fire accuracy delay, but it's still better than, you know, 15%, you know, minus 15% is better than 30%. So we're going to throw that on. And then for the attachments here uh, for the pistol, you already know what that is. If you want to go over them again, sound suppressor, uh, we have the task force barrel, 5MW laser, 30 round fast mag, and the dual wheels with stem shot C4 trophy system with flak jacket, scavenger, and spycraft. Now it's time to go into our fifth class setup.
Now we have the Krig here, which the Krig is all right. I, uh, you know, I really don't use it too much, but I've had some good games with it. We've almost gotten a Penta Nuke with this class setup. You know, I've dropped almost 200 kills with this class setup. It's very good. And since, you know, there's a lot of pro players using this weapon, and I'm pretty sure you guys want to know a good class setup for it, I got you guys right here. So we have the KG, uh, KG, I don't even know what I'm talking about. We have the Krig here. We're using the Death Certificate variant here, which is really good. So... What you're going to want to run here first is the Microflex LED. We're going to throw this on just because of how thin the frames are. It's very nice. When you aim down sight, you can just snap onto different targets, which makes it more easier to kill more people and just hold more. Like, you know, if you're holding a spawn, it's just very helpful and stuff like that, which is very nice. The next attachment here is the SOCOM Eliminator. This is going to help with 17% more vertical recoil control. Now, honestly, again, you know, as you see the accuracy here on the bottom, the, uh, you know, the accuracy on this weapon is crazy overpowered. You know, it doesn't feel like there's no recoil whatsoever with this build. So this is very nice. You're not going to, you know, hit, you're not going to miss any of your shots. You get more kills and your enjoyment for the game. It just goes up way more higher. Because I feel like people don't really know, like, you know, seven, like people just don't really understand how much 17% uh, more vertical recoil control is better than, you know, like, you know, the vertical, like 4% or you kind of, you guys probably can, but you always got to remember vertical recoil control is always more important than horizontal. You know, even though you lose 10% of horizontal recoil control, it's not bad. You're only hitting that like horizontal is when you like when it fires, when it goes up and then it goes up to the left or right or whatever like that. So don't really worry about the horizontal. Just worry about the vertical. So this is very important. The next attachment here is the Ranger Barrel. The Ranger Barrel is going to help with 100% more bullet velocity. As you see here, the bullet velocity goes up to 1,250 meters per second. So basically, the bullets are just going to zoom past everybody and just hit that target faster, way faster, actually. So this is very nice. So you're going to want to throw this on. Trust me, um, you know, I've tried all these, like, barrels, and honestly, that Ranger Barrel just hits different. I'm going to tell you all right now. It just it does feel like you're killing faster just because of the bullets traveling faster in air to hit its target. So you're going to want to throw this on. The next attachment here is the Steady Aim Laser. This is going to help with hip fire accuracy. You want to throw that on. We have the Bruiser Grip, again, just for movement speed, sprinting move speed, just getting around the map faster. And plus, it has that secret, you know, vertical recoil buff I didn't know about. We have the 50 round fast mag to help with, uh, you know, more ammo, reload quicker, starting out with more ammo and holding more ammo, which is very nice. We have the airborne elastic wrap to help with, uh, you know, 30% more aim down sight speed, 90% more flinch resistance, have basically four perks, toughness, and then you're going to be aim aimed down sight while going prone. And then finally here you have the raider stock to, you know, for sprint to fire speed. You know, you have that 40% more aim walking movement speed, which is very nice. So you're going to want to throw that on. We're using the dual wheel Dematis with Stim Shot, C4, Trophy System, Flak Jacket, Scavenger, and Spycraft. And we're using Gunfighter, of course. Now it's time to go into our sixth class setup. We're moving these, we're going through these pretty quickly. All right, so we have the MAC-10 now. So the MAC-10 is one of my favorite weapons to use. Now, this class setup, it just, it, it kills insanely fast. Now... The problem is here, not too many people know how to control this weapon because how, you know, of course, how fast the gun shoots and, you know, how bad the control for this weapon is. Now, definitely, this is something you need to learn and setting like a, you know, a tips and tricks video may come out here very soon. But definitely, I would say you need to learn the like the recoil pattern for these weapons that I'm showing you, you know, even though with me. I have, like, I've already, like, mastered the recoil patterns for every single weapon in the game. I know how they fire. I know what direction they'll pull up or, like, which way they'll go at a certain amount of bullets. I just know these things, so I know how to counter those, you know, those patterns. So that is definitely something you need to learn in, like, really fast, you know, using these class setups. Because, you know, I, that, I say that's super important about Call of Duty. You need to learn these control patterns. You have to, have to, trust me. But anyways, guys, we have the MAC-10 here. So what you're going to want to throw on is the Gunfire Wild Card to get three more attachments. Now, for the MAC-10, again, like the XM4, you know, I feel like you need eight attachments just to make this gun better. So you want to throw that on. So we're going to go into our first attachment here, which is going to be the SOCOM Eliminator Muzzle. This is going to help with 17% more vertical recoil control. It's very nice. It's going to be very helpful just because of... You need that control. You definitely need that control for this weapon. You know, even though, like, I could run the gun without, you know, any attachments. You know, it shoots up to the sky, but I would still be able to control the weapon. But I know a lot of people just still, like, are still trying to learn those control patterns and stuff like that. So definitely, 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 definitely throw on the SOCOM Eliminator for the 17% more vertical recoil control. 
Now, the next attachment here is the Ranger Barrel. This is going to help with 100% more bullet velocity. Now, as you see here, the regular base here is 200 meters, which is not the best. It's not the best at all. But we're going to bump it up to 400 meters, close to 500, which is okay to use. So, we're going to throw this on. You know, again, this bullet, like this gun shoots very fast. You guys know that, of course. The gun shoots fast. And then the bull velocity is just going to help it kill faster. So it, it, those targets are, you know, they're going to get eliminated pretty quickly. So you're going to want to throw this on. The next attachment here is the steady aim laser. You want to throw that on for hip fire accuracy. We have the bruiser grip on for the movement speed. Just get around the map faster, flank behind people faster, you know, and sprint faster. There's actually movement speed and then you have sprint moving speed, which is very nice. We have the 50 round, the 53 round fast mag to help with just reload quicker, having more ammo in the magazine, having more ammo at the start of the game, and as well holding more ammo for the reserves. We have the airborne elastic wrap with 30% more aim down sight speed, 9% more flinch resistance, and as well you're going to be able to drop shot while aiming down sights. And then finally here you have the no stock for 30% more aim down, not aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed so you can shoot faster off a sprint. This is very helpful just because you need to be that, this MAC-10 you want to be up close, medium, somewhere in that area. So definitely want to play aggressive with this. So it's going to be very helpful in your benefits here. So you want to throw that on. So it's time to go into our seventh class setup now. All right, now going into our seventh class up here is the FAMAS or the FFR1, whatever you want to call it here. Now, the FFR1 is a very good weapon if you know how to use it correctly. Now, again, this weapon does have a really fast uh, fire rate, so it does shoot up to the sky. You're going to be shooting at the pigeons. So you definitely got to learn, again, the recoil pattern for this weapon. It's not that hard. I, you Basically, all you need to do when firing, you just need to hold down the analog stick a little bit to down and to the left, and you basically just, you know, you have no recoil for the weapon so you want to throw this on but definitely we're going to throw on some attachments due to help you know help it have no recoil of course so what you're going to, want to throw on is gunfighter again for this class setup you need eight attachments for this weapon to be good in my opinion so the first thing here we're going to throw on the microflex led now honestly there's multiple things you could run for this you could throw on the microflex led for the thin frames to kind of snap on it people different or if you want that nostalgic feel from bo1 you can throw on the classic mill stop Either one works, you know, definitely it's okay to use either. You know, I do switch between the mill stop and I do switch between the micro flex. Those are my two favorites in the game. So it is what it is at the end of the day. Use whatever. But the next attachment here is, I accidentally used the wrong attachment here. We have the SOCOM Eliminator Muzzle. This can help with 17% more vertical recoil control. Now, again, you need that vertical recoil control for this weapon because definitely, like I said, you do shoot up to the moon. Like, I mean, definitely when you fire, you're going to be looking up. So you definitely, definitely, definitely need to have stuff to help with vertical recoil control. So this is a very good attachment as well. Now, the next attachment here is going to be the Task Force, not the Task Force. We have the Ranger Barrel, 100% more bullet velocity. This is very good as well just because of the 1,250 meters per second we're going to be getting here. You know, the weapon shoots very fast, so the bullets will be traveling faster and air to hit his targets faster. So having this combo here is definitely going to make it feel like it's the fastest killing weapon in the game. So throw this on for, you know, that for those games. Now, the next attachment, you already know it's going to be the Steady Aim Laser. We're not going to talk about it much, but it's going to help with hip fire accuracy. We have the bruiser grip on for movement speed just to get around the map faster and stuff like that. So this is very nice. We have the 44 round fast mag just to help with magazine capacity. This is very important. Run this. Definitely run this. For that magazine capacity, reload quick, starting out with more ammo and as well ammo capacity overall for over um, you know the reserves. We have the airborne elastic wrap for 30% more aim down sight speed, 9% more flinch resistance, and as well aim down while going uh, prone, drop shotting efficiently, so it's very nice to juke out opponents. Oh, excuse me. And then we have the Raider stock, which is 30% more sprint to fire speed, and we have that 40% more aim walking movement speed, which is very nice. So we have the Dematis, of course, with stem shot C4 trophy system with flak jacket, scavenger, and spy craft. Now it's time to get on to our eighth class setup. All right, so we're here with the Bullfrog, which is our eighth attach, well, our eighth class setup here. This is a very good weapon of good as well. You know, this helps me get a lot of kills. I've had a lot of crazy games as well. I would say this is probably like my third most asked uh, class setup for this weapon. Uh, Definitely, well, just in overall on stream, I would say the Bullfrog is my third most asked. Now, you want to throw on the Gunfighter. So I think personally, the uh, eight attachment Bullfrog class setup is very nice. 
So you want to throw that on. So we have our first attachment here, which is a sound suppressor. Now, honestly, people are gonna be like, all right, why are you using sound suppressor? You know, I switch off through certain things. I can use the KGB eliminator. We have the sound suppressor, the groove suppressor. But overall, I think the sound suppressor is gonna be very nice just because it doesn't give us as much effective damage at range. It's not taking as much. So this is very nice. It's just gonna keep us off the mini map and it's just gonna help us just stay, stay like more quiet and more deadly, if that makes sense. The next attachment here is the Liberator Barrel that's going to help with 100% more bullet velocity. We're going to have 500 meters from 250 to 500, which is very nice. You know, it's a big change, but, you know, 500 meters per second is okay, so you want to throw that on. We have the Steady Aim Laser for hip fire accuracy. We have the Bruiser Grip for movement speed, just getting around the map faster. You know, sprinting move speed, move speed, all that, just to get around the map faster, which is very nice. We have the 85 round Fast Mag that's going to help with, you know, just getting more kills definitely almost having a hundred rounds in a magazine which is stupid crazy you want to throw this on just to have that you know reload quickness starting out with more ammo holding more ammo and just the magazine capacity overall we have the grew elastic wrap for 30 percent more aim down sight speed 90 percent more flinch resistance and as well drop shot while aiming down sights and then finally here we have the kgb skeletal stock which is going to be very helpful for sprint to fire speed and you know 10 percent more aim walking movement speed which is very nice as well we have the dual dematis with stem shot c4 trophy system with flak jacket scavenger and spycraft now it's time to get on to our ninth class setup here all right so we have the aug here now the aug is one of my favorite weapons to use in the game overall this weapon is just it's beautiful all right that's all i can say this class setup is very beautiful i love using this class setup a lot i've gotten some decent gameplays with it i would say i got some decent gameplays with it but anyways the first attachment here is the mill stop reflex this is the only i think this is just i think you need to use the mill stop over anything in the game so you're gonna want to throw this on the next attachment here, you can either throw on the Infantry Compensator or the SOCOM Eliminator. We're going to go with the Infantry Compensator for 25% more vertical recoil control. You want that control of your weapon so you don't miss any shots. You get more kills and enjoy yourself longer. So you want to throw that on. Now, the barrels here, uh, it's definitely confusing for people here because I know people watch to watch for Warzone class setups and as well, people watch for multiplayer. I say overall, the Strike Team barrel is going to be your best option here because of the 20% more damage you get and the 13% more fire rate you get. It's very helpful. You shoot faster and your bullets are stronger. That's a good combo, I'd say. That's definitely a good combo to run, so you want to throw that on. We have the Steady Aim Laser for hip fire accuracy. We have the bruiser grip for movement speed and everything. Now people are going to be like, all right, why are you using the bruiser grip for this? It's a burst fire, so you really don't need to like have too much control of your weapon. So this is definitely good to run. We have the magazine of the 54 round fast mag. This is going to help with ammo capacity, reload quicker, starting out with more ammo and ammo capacity overall. We have the airborne elastic wrap for 30% more aim down sight speed. Flinch resistance up 90% and as well, you're going to be able to drop shot while aiming down sights. And then finally here, you have the Raider Pad, which is going to be 30% more sprint to fire speed. So shooting faster off a sprint and as well aim walking movement speed, which is very nice just because you can, you know, just move faster while aiming down sights. And then you have the same perks as Flak Jacket, Scavenger, and Spycraft. Now it's time to get into our final class setup for this video. Now I know people are going to hate me. I know people are going to hate me, but we're going to be showing off the Stoner. The Stoner is a super super overpowered lmg you definitely gonna want to throw one here we have the gunfighter attachments here or the perk here for uh more attachments so you're gonna want to throw on the sound suppressor this is very helpful just to stay off the mini map and i think it's still good regardless of whatever you use on it but we have the suppressor on here for just to stay off the mini map to be quiet we have the calvary uh the calvary a lancer here this is gonna it says 100 percent more vehicle damage now this is nice to take out like you know uavs attack choppers or whatnot but J God actually, you know, proved this that you actually get more um, bullet velocity for this weapon. Your target, you're gonna be hitting your targets faster. So I did not know this. These hidden perks they've been doing on this weapons are just kind of weird. These attachments, I don't know what they're kind of doing, but I kind of like it. Keep it going, keep going crazy. But the next attachment here is the steady aim laser that's gonna help with hip fire accuracy. Although you don't really want to hip fire with an LMG, you know, it's there just in case it happens. We have the bruiser grip for the uh, movement speed because, I mean, the LMG, you definitely need stuff to, you know, move around the map faster and stuff because it's an LMG. It's a big-ass weapon, so you do kind of move slow. Then we have the fast mag just to reload quick. You don't want to run anything else because, you know, you need that aim down sight speed for an LMG. And you don't really need that big of a magazine because, I mean, 75 is plenty for me if you ask me. So, I mean, we're throwing the fast mag on just to reload quicker. 
We have the airborne elastic wrap that aim down sight quicker, flinch resistance up 90%, and as well, you're going to be able to drop shot while aiming down sights. And then finally, we have the Raider pad for 30% more sprint to fire speed and 40% more aim walking movement speed. Now, that is going to wrap it up for all 10 of my class setups. I do hope you enjoy every single one of them. If you want to let me know in the comment section, guys, let me know what you think about these class setups. And definitely, these class setup videos will come out more throughout the future but anyways guys thanks for watching if you're all new to my channel like i said hit that subscribe button and as well turn on all notice to the channel because i upload every single day thank you guys so much and i'll talk y'all to the next one peace